the teak forest by lawrence hope read for librivox dot org by newgate novelist whether i loved you who shall say whether i drifted down your way in the endless river of chance and change and you woke the strange unknown longings that have no names but burn us all in their hidden flames who shall say life is a strange and a wayward thing we heard the bells of the temples ring the married children in passing sing the month of marriage the month of spring was full of the breath of sunburnt flowers that bloom in a fiercer light than ours and under a sky more fiercely blue i came to you you told me tales of your vivid life where death was cruel and danger rife of deep dark forests of poisoned trees of pains and passions that scorch and freeze of southern noontides and eastern nights where love grew frantic with strange delights while men were slaying and maidens danced till i who listened lay still entranced then swift as a swallow heading south i kissed your mouth one night when the plains were bathed in blood from sunset light in a crimson flood we wandered under the young teak trees whose branches wind in the light night breeze you led me down to the water's brink the spring where panthers come to drink at night there is always water here be the season never so parched and sear have we souls of beasts in the forms of men i fain would have tasted your life-blood then the night fell swiftly this sudden land can never lend us a twilight strand twixt the daylight shore and the ocean night but takes as it gives at once the light we laid us down on the steep hillside while far below us wild peacocks cried and we sometimes heard in the sunburnt grass the stealthy steps of the jungle pass we listened knew not whether they went on love or hunger the more intent and under your kisses i hardly knew whether i loved or hated you but your words were flame and your kisses fire and who shall resist a strong desire not i whose life is a broken boat on a sea of passions adrift afloat and whether i came in love or hate that i came to you was written by fate in every hue of the blood-red sky in every tone of the peacock's cry while every gust of the jungle night was fanning the flame you had set alight for these things have power to stir the blood and compel us all to their own chance mood and to love or not we are no more free than a ripple to rise and leave the sea we are ever and always slaves of these the suns that scorch and the winds that freeze of the faint sweet scents of the sultry air of the half-heard howl from the far-off lair these chance things master us ever compel to the heights of heaven the depths of hell whether i love you you do not ask nor waste yourself on the thankless task i give your kisses at least return what matter whether they freeze or burn i feel the strength of your fervent arms what matter whether it heals or harms you are wise you take what the gods have sent you ask no questions but rest content so i am with you to take your kiss and perhaps i value you more for this for this is wisdom to love to live to take what fate or the gods may give to ask no question to make no prayer to kiss the lips and caress the hair speed passion's ebb as you greet its flow to have to hold and in time let go and this is our wisdom we rest together on the great lone hills in the storm-filled weather and watch the skies as they pale and burn the golden stars in their orbits turn while love is with us and time and peace and life has nothing to give but these but whether you love me who shall say 
or whether you drifting down my way in the great sad river of chance and change with your looks so weary and words so strange lit my soul from some hidden flame to a passionate longing without a name who shall say not i who am but a broken boat content for a while to drift afloat in the little noontide of love's delights between two nights End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.